Soon, a temporary chapter of Battle Pass Season 11 begins. Carmen de Bisonte. It'll give you the chance to get a free premium vehicle, as well as purchase the improved pass, either for gold or for free XP. This time around, the reward vehicle is the Tier 8 Polish 56TP Heavy Tank, which is available in the base reward track. To complement the tank's menacing appearance, there's a unique Carmen de Bisonte style, inspired by a medieval poem that glorified the magnificence of this noble beast. On top of the style, players will also have access to a special mission that will bring a wealth of additional rewards, but we'll talk about that later. You need to manually activate the additional chapter to start investing points in its progression. You can do this even if you haven't completed or started previous chapters. 50 stages with assorted rewards, including bonds, credits, standard and bounty equipment, Days of World of Tanks premium account, and other in-game items await you. And for the first time, only within the temporary chapter, you'll have the option of purchasing the Improved Pass not only for gold, but also for free XP. The Improved Pass will bring you even more rewards, as well as the unique style. Just like other chapters, the temporary chapter is filled in with Battle Pass points that you can earn by playing in all types of random battles, except Grand Battles. Daily missions will also become an additional source of points. Start paying attention to your special mission progress now and try to complete as much as possible so that you can invest additional points into the temporary chapter later. Also keep in mind that when playing in the season's core vehicles and after reaching a vehicle's point limit, you'll be able to earn even more points. The chapter will start in a week. Now's your time to prepare to quickly catch the elusive bison that is the 56 TP. At first, it might look like a slow and hulking beast, but looks can be deceiving. This pole has maneuverability to be proud of. The only limit is its top speed. Its acceleration from a standstill is almost instant thanks to its powerful engine, and it has no problem switching flanks or retreating. This means even the most agile opponents can't outmaneuver this cloven-hoofed warrior. For protection, the 56TP uses a 122mm gun with good handling, as well as excellent penetration and damage. The tank's damage per minute is only 1,614 HP in its standard configuration. It becomes much better once you have all the bells and whistles. You'll have to do without equipment for maneuverability and stabilization, but not to worry, they're excellent anyway. What this means is that this tank isn't designed for head-on attacks or duels. It's more comfortable keeping a distance and supporting allies. And once your enemies start to tire toward the end of the battle, then you can rush into attack. After all, it's important for a warm-blooded beast to stay cool-headed. The tank's good maneuverability and handy gun hide a thin skin and low HP pool. Its front and sides only have 80 millimeters of armor, so the 56TP hardly can trade its HP or use its hull armor, especially at close range. That's why you need to use your turret. It has more armor, and its oval shape allows it to easily deflect shells from Tier 8 and 9 vehicles. But there's a catch. The commander's cupola is pretty big and has just 100 millimeters of armor. Your task is to make it hard for the enemy to aim at it. Try to move as much as you can and, if possible, cover the cupola with your gun when you're reloading. If the map permits, use the terrain to your advantage. The tank can depress its gun by 9 degrees, which compensates for almost all its armor drawbacks. So your domain is hilly terrain. When it comes to equipment, things are very simple. It needs to cover up the tank's shortcomings and highlight its strengths. That's why improved hardening in the roll slot and gun rammer are a must. Put either improved ventilation or turbocharger in the last slot for even better maneuverability. What you choose is up to you. The 56TP is a vehicle that can choose what it does. You can support a breakthrough on a flank or cover your allies from a distance. In any case, the vehicle's capabilities will let you combine all these playstyles at different stages of one battle. 
And don't forget that the unique Carmen de Bisonte style not only instills awe, but also helps you get your hands on valuable rewards. Bonds, credits, World of Tanks premium account, equipment, consumables, reserves, directives, and free XP that'll cover your spending on the improved pass. All this can be yours for completing a special daily mission with one simple condition. Win a battle in the 56 TP. The mission will be available for 110 days after the temporary chapter begins. The earlier you get the style, the more rewards you'll have time to earn. Carmen de Bisonte is almost here. Your mission is to tame the power of a wild bison that, in the right hands, can become a huge threat to all predators. You have 10 days. Don't miss your chance to add a rare beast to your collection. Good luck, Commanders.